Images are very important. We keep memories of our lives, of the best moments of our lives, as photography. And we usually don't pay enough attention to that. Thankfully, I found a very, very cool solution to uh, storing, classifying, and accessing your pictures. Image is an open source software tool that allows you to classify your pictures and have features similar to what Google Photos or the Apple equivalent of it offer you. You have a timeline, you have stories of past years, you can uh, have face recognition, you can have favorites, and you can have free form text search with uh, artificial intelligence in the back. So you can look for things like pictures of lakes and you will get some pretty decent results. Apart from that, apart from a web interface to connect to your instance and operate with it, it also has a command line and it also has a mobile app. You can use this mobile app to automate the backups to image. And the best part of it is that it's completely self-hosted. You will run the server, the backend instance of image, and you will have absolute control about your pictures and privacy. Because pictures are important to you, aren't they? And privacy probably is too. In any case, even if you only cared about your pictures, trusting a third party to keep those can be a bit risky. What would happen if you store all of your life memories in Google Photos and then one day they decide to suspend your account? Because of whatever reason, they actually have the right to do that. How long will it take for you to recover those pictures? What if uh, you cannot recover them? Why if Google Photos stops working in the country that you live in? So welcome to Image. Let's see what we can do with it. First of all, here we see in the main page, we have the timeline. And the timeline is, as you can imagine, the timeline of uh, photographies, pictures, sorted or organized by day, group by day. You can jump to any point in the timeline. And then, of course, you can open the pictures and go through them. If you like one, you can save it as a favorite or you can even download it locally. Apart from that, we have stories here at the top. Here we will see pictures that happened this same day, but n years in the past. So seven years ago, uh, these pictures were taken. Here we can see all of them, but that's not even half of what image can do. With image, you have face recognition. This case is a statue, but it can also be humans. In this case, because these are just demo images, there aren't many faces, but you can have here your friends and family, and you can add a name to them, where you will see all of the pictures that you have from them. Apart from that, you can, of course, go to your favorites. You can see the pictures that you've taken on the map. Yeah, let's see. Okay. And one of the coolest features, in my opinion, is text search powered by natural language processing and machine learning. So here you can look for concepts, objects, or anything else. So if you are trying to find pictures of animals, you can just go for it. It works pretty well. Or even you can look for pictures of summer. This is a broader subject. Let's see what we get. Yeah, the beach, some summer colors, uh, the sea, some boats. Yeah, makes sense. Let's look for a lake. Okay, pretty cool. Apart from all of this, you can make albums. These albums, you create them by selecting some pictures. Let's select all of the pictures of this day and add them to an album. Uh, let's call it new. Yeah. So here we have an album with all of those pictures. Uh, we can, of course, remove pictures from it and so on. But it gets interesting when you can generate a link to share this album. 
So imagine you have taken pictures of a family event or some trip that you did with your friends. You can organize all of the pictures in that album and then create a link that you can share with them so that they can access the pictures directly. You can choose whether to show the metadata or not. So this is the GPS location, the camera model and so on, uh, and whether or not to allow users of this link that will, won't have to sign up or log in or anything to download those pictures. And additionally, you can allow them to upload their own pictures. This is interesting for collecting all of the pictures of a trip or something like that. And you can set an expiry date. With this link, anyone that has this link can access this album and do the things that we've established here. It's very, very cool, all of the things that you can do with Image. I really encourage you to give it a try. Overall, Image is very cool. It can help you organize all of your pictures so that even if you have tens of thousands of them, you can still use them in an easy way. You will get stories that will remind you of all times without you doing anything. You will always be able to search by date or by concept with the natural language processing, machine learning powered uh, search option. Apart from that, it's very nice because it allows you to share albums of trips or events with your friends and family and even allow them to collaborate and upload more pictures to it. Having digital sovereignty for hosting your pictures has never been easier and it's actually pretty nice. I don't miss anything from Google Photos or any other proprietary alternative. I encourage you to give it a try and let me know how it goes. If you don't know how to deploy it or how to set it up or how to build your own server, please let me know in the comments if this is something you would like to learn about. See you next time. Bye.